When it comes to DSLR cameras with an APS-C size sensor, there are lots of options and the competition is pretty fierce. Pentax is a respected player in this market and this new camera has more than one special feature that sets it apart from the pack. Let's have a look at the Pentax K3. Hi, I'm Larry Becker. The Pentax K3 is a strong performer near the top of the Pentax DSLR lineup. Pentax does have a 40 megapixel medium format camera called the 645D, and while that technically is the top of their DSLR line, that's really a whole different class of camera. The K3 is a 23.35 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor equipped camera that has the latest Pentax Prime 3 image processor. It's a high-end enthusiast or pro camera that shoots an impressive 8.3 frames a second and it has loads of features and programmability. As we get into this review, you'll discover that the K3 is a worthy competitor in this class of cameras, but it also stands out because of special things like weatherproofing, the way Pentax approached the optical low-pass filter, and their image stabilization method, plus how they handle camera RAW files and a couple of unique shooting modes. To start, this camera delivers great image quality, and impressive 23.35 megapixel images. Snap a general use lens on this body and the hobbyist and enthusiast will be really happy with what they'll get. And depending on the kind of shooting you're doing, you can get images comparable to those from the best APS-C sensor equipped cameras on the market today. Modern full frame sensors will almost always deliver the best high ISO, low noise performance, when compared to a cropped APS-C sensor. But I was surprised by what the K3 does with high ISO images. It's better than I expected and it's better than previous Pentax models I've reviewed. The ISO range runs from 100 to 51,200, which is strong but not amazing. However, the images I shot with high ISO numbers are surprisingly usable. If you apply noise reduction in your camera raw processing, depending on your subject, you may be able to get usable images at ISO 6400 or higher. In many situations, I like shooting in auto ISO mode, and for the K3, I would bump the top end of the auto ISO range up past the default ceiling of 3200. I'd probably put it up around 6400 or maybe even 12,800. If you have good light so the ISO is in the normal range, and if you have a subject that shows off image detail, you can get truly spectacular, crisp, detailed images. For low light shots, I prefer camera raw files so that I can process away the noise more effectively. But when the light is decent, you'll get great quality JPEGs processed right in camera. By the way, you even get to pick whether you want Pentax camera raw file format or the open standard DNG digital negative for your camera raw files. And since there are two SD card slots, you can pick what goes on card one and what goes on card two. Maybe JPEGs on card one and RAW on the other, or maybe card slot two is for overflow, or maybe for videos. The magnesium alloy body, the placement of all the controls, the deep grip, and the weight all feel good and they make sense. At first, I tried to hold my thumb on the rear grip so that it wasn't touching any buttons, but that position put my little finger under the camera a little bit. Then, when I adjusted slightly and I did let my thumb lightly touch the AF button on the back, my grip was just right. And then, slightly rocking my thumb focuses the camera. I actually like that better than pressing the AF button with my thumb tip. Of course, you can also focus by pressing the shutter button halfway down, but that rear AF button is a great way to shoot. You just have to get used to how the AF button becomes a part of your grip. The mode dial is nice for a number of reasons. You can lock it in place or you can leave it free to easily rotate. It has three user-definable custom setting positions and true to form for Pentax, 
there's a sensitivity priority mode that lets you give priority to the ISO value you want to lock into your camera, and the camera adjusts other settings accordingly. And there's a TAV mode that combines shutter and aperture priority while still allowing for auto ISO. When you look at the 3.2 inch LCD monitor, the Pentax menus, info screens, and programmability are really great and surprisingly intuitive. With 1.037 million dots, the status screen is clear and bright and packed with information and the readout even shifts for easy readability when you flip the camera to portrait orientation. Press the info button and there's a control panel that gives you quick access to all kinds of adjustments without a trip to the menus. If you're new to photography, you may need to look up some terms and functions, but if you're familiar with popular cameras and terminology like Nikon or Canon or Sony uses, setting, adjusting, and using the K3 will probably be a manual free experience. Now let's focus a little more on some of those standout features. The K3 has great weather sealing, and I've even seen somebody put theirs under a running kitchen faucet. Now, I'm not going to recommend that, but theoretically you could do it. Just be sure that you have one of those Pentax lenses with the WR on the lens. That means that the lens is weather resistant. The one that I used for this review was not a WR lens, so I never washed mine in the sink. But let me tell you about this lens because I really like it. It's the Pentax DA 18 to 270 millimeter f3.5 to 6.3 ED SDM lens. Pentax says it has a supersonic motor. I found it to be quiet, but not necessarily silent like some of the lenses in my camera bag. And the focusing was quick in bright light and reasonably quick in low light, but not necessarily class leading. Still, the zoom range of this camera is a 35 millimeter equivalent to having a 27.5 to 413 millimeter lens, and that means lots of shooters could probably live with that lens alone. While the lens doesn't have any kind of vibration reduction or anti-shake built in, the K3 itself has sensor-based anti-shake technology. So even without a tripod, when I zoomed all the way in to 270 millimeters, now remember that's a 413 millimeter equivalent zoom, I still got usably sharp images. For me, the only downside of in-camera versus lens-based image stabilization is that I'm used to my image stabilizing when I'm looking through the viewfinder and then I press the shutter button halfway. Now, it doesn't do that with the K3. Your images will be stabilized, but the viewfinder preview isn't. Starting last year, major camera makers have been touting even sharper resolution from their high-end APS-C size sensors by eliminating optical low-pass filters. Until recently, camera engineers reduced more pattern distortion issues by slightly blurring some of the light reaching the sensor at the pixel level. New, high-quality sensors don't need these filters most of the time, and the images can be even sharper as a result. Occasionally, though, certain subjects will still generate that more pattern interference. The unique approach with the K3 sensor is that there's no optical low-pass filter, but if you're shooting something where an optical low-pass filter might be helpful, you can just change a setting and then micro vibrations of the sensor simulate one of two optical low-pass filters. This is a world's first, and there's even a white paper all about it on the Pentax website if you want to know even more. The K3 is also a video camera, and you'll be able to shoot good quality, informal HD video. But it ends up being a mix of pro and non-pro video features, so this may or may not be a go-to rig for pro videographers, depending on their needs. You can adjust the microphone volume manually if you want, and there are both headphone and microphone jacks available for audio monitoring and higher quality recording. This is actually a really nice feature for this class of camera. There's no high speed 1080 60p, but there is cinematic 24 frames a second mode, and the maximum 1080 HD capture rate is 30p or 60i. And it's nice that you can just flip the movie toggle on the back while in any shooting mode and have quick access to video capture. 
but it's not as fast as one button recording like some cameras offer. Still, it's better than having to rotate the mode dial to the movie position like some cameras require. So what are you looking for in a new DSLR? If your list includes great image quality, a nice array of available lenses, weatherproofing, a fast burst rate, good high ISO performance, and good quality video, put the Pentax K3 on your short list. For B&H and Kelby One, I'm Larry Becker. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. Scott Kelby here and welcome to this quick tour of our online training. We have hundreds of online classes for you covering everything from lighting to landscape photography. From portrait photography to sports, we have classes on wedding, automotive photography, shooting, food, fashion, travel, you name it. The most incredible part of this is the price. You get all of this for just $199 a year or you can pay monthly for just $24.95. 24 hour a day, seven day a week access from anywhere in the world. I invite you to join with us today and start learning right now.